In this video, we're going to do a lathering tutorial using Colonel Conk Bay Rum Shaving Soap. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. So, as mentioned before, today we're going to do a lathering tutorial using Colonel Conk Bay Rum because I've been asked to do this. I've done these many times over the years, but since I've been asked recently, I figure time to do another one. And we're going to use Colonel Conk because the other day I used this, I got a really nice lather and people were like, I don't know about that. Colonel Conk, yes, Colonel Conk will lather very well and we will show you every step of the way. The first rule though, you must respect the conk for it to provide a good lather. So if you're not respecting the conk because you're a fancy pants person and you look down on low cost shaving soaps, too bad you're out of luck. But if you respect the conk, it will do what you need it to do. So our tools... We'll use the Captain's Choice bowl, nothing in here. As you can see, we're gonna use some water. Uh, we're just happened to pick up the PAA Amber Aerolite Synthetic Shaving Brush, and of course, the conch. Now, what I'm gonna do is take the puck out, and I've cut some samples off of this, and I'm just simply gonna cut a little piece of this out and press it into the bowl, and again, I'll cut this off, and then I'll show you as I'm pressing it in the bowl, so there's no tomfoolery, no shenanigans, and I'll probably have more than I actually need. So let's show you what we have here. A little piece of the conch. We will press it into the bowl. And again, I'm gonna show you every step of the way. Now, one thing I wanna mention before we get started as I'm pressing this into the bowl. If you have a natural hairbrush and you're new using a natural hairbrush, I suggest you soak it to make the hairs more pliable because you don't want those hairs breaking if they're brittle. But with, with a synthetic, it's not that important. Um, they're pretty durable. And so there we have our conch pressed into the bowl. And what I'm going to do now is move this camera down to the sink where you can see every step of the way, the way I do this. And you will see yourself that yes, the conch will render a good lather for you if you work it properly. Stay tuned. And all right, here we are back with our conch and our Captain's Choice bowl. And what we're going to do is just run some warm water and we're going to Put it inside the bowl, about yay much. And all I'm going to do is just swirl it around. Now, fuzzy, if you're watching, turn away because this is considered blooming. The advantage of this, however, is we're not blooming in our soap container. So there's absolutely no risk of harming uh, a tub of soap if you have a tub of soap. Now, I know some people introduce water into their tubs and they have no problem at all. Some people introduce water into their tubs and they get mold on their soap. So you do whatever you like. I'm not telling you um, you should or should not do it. But as you can see, water's sort of getting soapy there. And we've got a fair amount of water. Notice I haven't even wet the, the PAA Amber Aerolite. And what I'll try to do is just start working it. And there's a lot of uh, water in here right now. That's fine. The soap will mix with the water. And over time, what'll happen is it will begin to get pasty. It'll start off on me. It will get pasty over time. And the more water you use initially, the more it will be foamy in the beginning. But over time, it will get pasty. Now, one of the things I want to mention here is that I'm going slower here than I would be if I were just doing this myself. Because I want you to see how my process goes. So it's just simply working. And notice I'm working both ways. I'll go one way for a while. Then I'll go the other way for a while. And then I'll reverse. I don't like to wear a brush in a circular fashion um, in one way all the time, in one direction. So I'll go the other way. I'll go back and forth. Notice that I'm not splaying the brush at this point. I'm just going over the top, working back and forth and making circles. And so there we will set that aside. Here we have water, just water. We'll give it a spray. And then we will continue to work. Essentially what we will do is just continue to add water and then we'll go again until it gets pasty. We'll add water, we'll go again until it gets pasty. And over time, you will add your hydration into the soap and it will produce a good lather. You're already seeing that it's not as foamy as it was originally. And it's just a matter of working the water into the soap. And again, I'm not splaying much because splaying often adds air which you do have to have, but I don't like to add a lot of air early on in the process. Again, understanding that I'm slowing this down for you. If I were doing it myself, I'm not gonna take this long, but it's important for me to explain this 
in the way that I do it. And I think this is a very easy method. And as you can see here, the soap, I don't know how well you can see because I don't know how the lighting is, but the soap is uh, starting to take on a sheen because it's beginning to get hydrated. You may see some small bu bubbles in there. No problem. Over time, as you add more and more water, it will become more and more hydrated. It will pick up even more of a sheen. You can start to spray if you want to, going back and forth. Again, I like to continually change directions as to not wear the brush in one way all the time. So changing it up, again, adding water. We'll add two, two pumps this time. And there's a fair amount of water here you can see that it's taking. So you see the kernel conk, if you add it slowly, you can see a little more sheen there maybe. I don't know how the light is. It's hard for me to see into the camera here what the light is. So I don't know if you're picking up the sheen in there, but it's there. Let's add some more water. And I promise you from personal experience, this soap will be slick. It is a glycerin based soap. It will be slick. And as you can see, there's water in there. You can add more water if we like. And once we finish, we can, we can make peaks and all those kind of things you see with the 12 butter soaps. And this is a simple soap, but it will still yield a good quality lather. See that now how it's kind of falling off, but it's retaining some hydration. See those little dollops in there? I'm telling you right now, this is not bad at all. This is going to be very slick and it will get the job done. You see that dollop? See, it's got that creamy consistency. Again, I don't know how the light is, so I'm not sure if it's picking up the sheen or not, but just continue adding water and work it and get the amount of water you want in the soap. It's completely up to you as to what consistency you whip it up, to, whip it up into. But as you can see there, it will hold water. See, I hope that's coming across on the camera. I don't know if it is, but I promise you this will be plenty slick enough. And for folks who say that these old soaps do not work well in terms of providing slickness, I just strongly disagree. You can get water in these soaps. They will be slick. Now, is it a dense lather like your Kaizen or Declaration or something like that with, you know, the many, many buttered soaps? No, it's not going to be that dense, but this is going to be a very respectable, slick lather, and it's not hard to make. And we haven't introduced any water into any pucks, and so you can do, you can do this with basically any soap. And that's the way I do it. And I hope it works well for you. Let me move the camera back up and we'll give our finishing thoughts. Stay tuned. All right, so there we have it. You have seen it. There's no trickery involved here. It makes a very nice hydrated lather. No problems whatsoever. This, this worked very well for me. There's no reason it can't work well for you. Uh, the only caveat I would, I would give is if you need certain ingredients for your skin, let's say one of the many butters that you know, artisans put in their soaps. Maybe that's a better choice for you. But this stuff just works. It will hold water. It will be slick. Believe what you see, and you have seen me use it. You have seen me lather it. There's no trickery here. There's no mystic anything. Just lather it. Just lather it. Enjoy it. And don't be hung up on the amount of money that a soap costs. This stuff makes a respectable lather again. Believe what you see. The proof is in the pudding. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this is helpful to you. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.